Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today I am going to be showing you a updated, updated tutorial on how to install Truckers MP because I'm still getting a loads of comments on my previous videos saying about how do I do this so I thought about making a brand new updated tutorial on how to do it so I'm going to tell you how to do that today. So again you are going to need Euro Truck Simulator 2 installed on Steam not from a website download it has to be from Steam the official Euro Truck Simulator 2 from Steam by SES from Steam uh, if and if it's from like a website downloader it won't work make sure it is installed on Steam. Another thing you also have to do is have your profile and your game details set to public so the way you do that is by clicking on your name up here and going to view my profile. From here you want to click edit profile and then click on my privacy settings and then on my profile and game details you want them both set to public just like that. Now once you have done that you are ready to install Truckers MP. So open your internet browser whichever one you're using and type in truckers mp uh, just like that and then click on this first link do not like click any of the other ones and download it from them this is the official website to download this game from or this mod because it's really a mod but still and if you scroll down it will say get to the mod installation is quick and easy register an account with us and link your steam account that has euro truck simulator 2 or american truck simulator download install play it's as easy as that within minutes you'll be trucking alongside thousands of other enthusiasts but don't worry if you don't know how to do it i'll take you through it now so it says that you have to register an account with them but i already have an account so i'm just going to log in quickly when you register you might get like a verification on to sign up to your steam account so if you just do that and then just sign into your steam account then that'll be done and then you'll be redirected back to this page and then you'll have all of these terms of services and rules and everything for Truckers MP. Read through them, tick this box and then press submit and now you're ready to download the mod. So scroll down and you will have the same thing here so just click download now. From here scroll down again and then click this download button right here. Click that and then it will download. Once this downloads, you can click it to open the the um what's it called like the um the folder. That's what it's called. And then install Truckers MP. Double click that, and then it will show this. Just click yes. So it will say welcome to Truckers MP Launcher Setup Wizard. So this is basically the setup wizard that you want. So just click next. Accept the agreement. R make sure you read through it first, just to make sure that it's yeah <laughs> everything. <laughs> so yeah, just read it, accept it, and then click next. And then select where you want Truckers MP to be stored. And then click which one you have. So if you have ETS 2 Morse Player, then tick that. If you have ATS, then tick that. I have both, so I'm going to leave them both ticked. Click Next. And then you want to select the American Truck Simulator Directory and the Euro Truck Simulator Directory. So if you didn't have either one, let's say you didn't have ATS, and then you click Next, it will also, it will, like, obviously it will say that, but then you don't have it because you unticked it so I don't know why it's saying that for me but I think it recognized that I actually have it so yeah we'll just leave it ticked. So basically this is saying you want to select where the directory is so if, if I click browse and then take you through where it's usually stored so it should be in um, in like your standard hard your hard drive if that's the word so it'll be in there steam library steam apps and then it will be in common and then it will be American Truck Simulator, OK, and then click Next. And then Euro Truck Simulator 2 is exactly the same. So your hard drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then it will be Euro Truck Simulator, not American Truck. Click OK, Next, and then this is what you want the, uh, let me just read this. So this is saying what the thing is named, if you see what I mean, so just click Next. Select if you want it to be a desktop icon, which I do, so I'm going to leave it ticked. If you don't, then just untick it. Click next, and then just read through this and make sure it's all okay, and then click install. And now it says this, completing the Truckers MP Launcher Setup Wizard, so we have completed it. And as you can see on my desktop down here, I now have the Truckers MP icon. So just click finish, and then you are ready to install it. So double click to open it, and if you have some available updates, then just click install them. It might take a while on the first load up 
thing, but after it, then it won't take that much, that long to download the available updates. So after you have installed the available updates, you can go ahead and launch ATS and ETS. But one thing I did forget to mention is you need to make sure that you are opted out of all betas in Eurotruck. So how you do that is by right clicking on the Eurotruck Simulator 2 thing, then go down to properties. From here, you wanna go and click on betas and make sure you are on this selection none opt out of all beta programs make sure you click that and then if it has a save button here click that and then close and now you're ready to launch ETH and then you're ready to launch Truckers MP that's what I meant so once you're in it will come up with this verification thing that says log into your account so you just want to type in your email and password the one you use to sign up to Truckers MP for so once you have done that as I've done right there you can't see it because I don't want to reveal my information you can select if you want to remember you so when you come back onto this game again later in the future you don't have to type in your details again so just do that and then if you click on this settings button up here in the top left you can select if you want to if like you want to change anything like if you want the players on the map to actually like be highlighted so if a friend is on your server then it'll be green but if just a normal player is on the server then it'll be colored blue so basically if you're turning a corner and there's an a and there's um another truck there then it will show up on your map but then if you don't have this ticked you will not be able to see them on your mini map so you actually have to physically look to the left to see if there is a truck there and if there is then you probably better stop but if there isn't then you, you know you can just walk around so it's kind of just seeing where players are but if you want to be totally realistic then switch it off but as you can see you have a different sorts of things like cb radio channel speed limiter scale name tags flags cabin accessories all of this sort of stuff you can change you also have options for sounds graphics interfaces and everything like that so when you have everything that you that's like to your preference then click apply then okay and then you are free to log in so just click log in it'll log in official rules latest changes read through it and then click i have read and agree the truckers mp rules click that and then you can select which server you want to go into so you can see that it says like plus 197 in queue so this one is quite a high server this one is a high server too this one as well and everything like that but this says europe 3 no cars so no cars can be on this server because you can actually uh, go into the into the game and actually purchase a car so if you see like a car it's not an ai car it's an actual person that just decided you know what i'm gonna drive around in a car this one is simulation so um, it says collisions are enabled uh, and speed limiter is enabled as well so you can only be limited to 90 kilometers an hour this is in kilometers an hour not miles an hour so say you want to go into a server i'm just going to select europe 2 it does say 197 in cube i should be i should still be able to join it so if you click that and then select what profile you want to go into so i actually recommend that you create a new profile for your truckers mp but then because like you can't have any mods active because if you see it said cannot find any mods because I actually have these mods installed on my profile but I can't actually have them on when I'm in Truckers MP because no mods are allowed so you can only have the default uh, Euro Truck game on there and the DLCs are supported but no mods they are not supported so I recommend that you just have a profile for online and then you can drive around and have a good time and then from there it's just standard euro truck simulator 2 so i hope this tutorial was a lot more helpful than the previous uh, uh, ones so leave a like if it helps you out and just if you enjoy the video so hit that like button thank you very much it is much appreciated also make sure to subscribe for more videos on my channel which is mostly going to be bus simulator videos because that's what that's basically the game that i am addicted to right now also click the notification bell so then you guys will get notified every time i start new videos so and then you guys can be the first ones there so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video but until then take care and peace